Bonjour et bienvenue chez Vacan Pronet, c'est Jujubis. Je me trouve avec le gagnant du Major Magisk des Astralis qui vient de battre Navi en finale 2-0. Magisk, how does it feel to win your first major? It's it's really amazing. Uh, this is uh, my biggest dream and, and the best day of my life. So, yeah, it's uh, it's indescribable and and the fact that I got to win it with these guys just makes it even more special and yeah, I'm just really happy. It looks like it. So coming in, or before this tournament, your last tournament was DreamHack Stockholm. You guys fell to North in the final, and now you just beat Navi convincingly. Um, what did you guys do to change your gameplay and to come in to this tournament, the strongest competitors that we've seen? Uh, to be honest, I think we just had a, a bad day in, in, in Stockholm, and, and they played some good CS, and, and so that's the reason why they won. Uh, We still got to the final, even though it was uh, like after the player break, which is still a great result. And uh, before the major, we decided to change a few things. Uh, as an example, I play B and overpass now uh, because we had a, a lot of struggle on, on that bomb side. So we, we decided that it was the better for the team that we tried with me on that bomb side. Uh, and then Dupree could uh, hold A, which he, he really wanted to. So so I was like, yeah, but why not give it a chance? And, and to be honest, we. We kind of avoided playing overpass this whole tournament uh, because we wanted more practice on it. So that's the reason why we you only got to see it like now uh, in the final because we really waited to play the map and, and get more practice in. And that's like one of the things we, we, we changed before this tournament. And so in this, this final, this 2-0 against the second best team in the world, it, it didn't look like you were giving Navi any room to move. You were controlling the map so well. Everything was going in your favor. Did you expect a 2-0, the second best team in the world? Uh, honestly, I knew it was going to be a really close match and even though the scoreline maybe didn't like show it, it was still like really, really close, uh, especially on on overpass. We won a few rounds that we might not have should have won. So if we hadn't won those rounds, we could have been like on the opposite side. So yeah, it was a, it was a great game and, and we managed to, to win the important rounds which and that made it so much easier for us. And Overall, uh, I think Navi is a really great team, and, and they probably didn't play their best CS today, which is, yeah, that's just uh, the unfortunate that when it's only one game that decides it. So I'm just happy. <laughs> when we spoke with Device earlier, he said that if anyone was to lift the trophy after the victory, it would be you. How does it feel to grab that trophy, lift it for your team, your nation, even in front of 10,000 screaming fans? It was. Uh, I was really happy that I like. We haven't even talked about it before when we got out to the states, and everyone just said that I should lift it, and I was just like really happy because it was my first major win ever. So, yeah, I'm just happy that I got to lift the trophy. That means a lot for me, and and yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, no words. It's fine. Uh, and so now that you have won your first major, your teammates have won two so far. Do you consider this to be the pinnacle of your career? What what do you do going forward? This is definitely the biggest uh, moment of my career, and and I'm just really happy that, like I'm, I I actually want to major. Like I, this is what I've been dreaming of ever since I started playing, like just for fun and and just uh, seeing so many people uh, winning majors and and being in majors myself before and just being disappointed of not you know making it, it not even to a final. So I'm just happy that I that I finally won a major because I've been working hard a lot with the guys to, to finally get that win and yeah I'm just I'm speechless and I'm just gonna celebrate it tonight. <laughs> That's awesome well well deserved so speaking of you you had just won a major after you started playing CS casually it's a game you probably got into from your friends stuff like that what words do you have for all the Counter-Strike fans out there that are gonna look at you and see you up on that stage and have the same dreams the same aspirations? Working hard is, is definitely one of the most important things, but I also think uh, when people like s getting closer to the pro scene, they, they, they will realize that, that first of all, stats, they don't always matter. And, uh, and it's, it's really important to be a good teammate and, and have a, like, good team chemistry. And even though you, you might be playing a good game and your teammates might have a bad game, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be, uh, be a good teammate. So be a good teammate, work hard and, and be humble is, is definitely the, the most wise words for every player out there and, and if they want to achieve big things here. And so just one last uh, question for you. Do you have anything to say to your fans? Uh, it's a French site. Any fans in France, any fans in Denmark that may be watching right now? 
I want to thank every fan in, in, the, in the world. It doesn't matter where they come from. Every fan is appreciated and we love them. Uh, it, it means a lot for us and, and for everyone on the team that we have fans and, and they're always so nice to us. And the fact we, that we could win in, in such a big crowd with so many fans as well is, is just really amazing as well. So thank you everyone and that's really appreciated. Well, congratulations one last time on your impressive victory here. Hope you'll have, uh, you'll take some time to celebrate it tonight. C'était la dernière interview du Major de Londres. Merci à tous et à toutes d'avoir suivi nos coverages ici. Je vais également remercier tout le staff de Vacarm et l'association de bénévoles qui nous a énormément aidés et sans eux, on n'aurait pu rien sortir. Un grand merci également à nos sponsors Aurus et Avast. Sans eux, on n'aurait pu rien produire non plus. C'était pour la dernière fois Jujubiz et Mickey pour Vacarm. Ciao.